Well, I think some of the technology that we're seeing at the Consumer Electronics Show uh, in 2021 does revolve around the reality that we live in now, uh, the COVID-19 uh, epidemic and lockdowns. And there was uh, some interesting stuff from the Razer Gaming folks. Uh, they have this uh, mask prototype that I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, it's called Project Hazel. And it, one thing I, I, I guess I forgot that at the beginning of the pandemic, Razer actually... Uh, manufactured about a million masks uh, for healthcare workers using their their systems. And then now they've made, a, I guess, a, a more reusable mask. Um, but it it kind of looks like a mask that a gamer would wear when they're in the game. Like it's yeah, totally <laughs> it, it's it's a pretty clever and cool design, but it also well, let, let me explain how this mask looks. I mean, it's basically a, a, a translucent, almost like smoked clear uh, plastic covering that goes over your mouth that has two little discs then the discs actually have a couple different purposes one is they're the filtration points uh, so it's it's a surgical n95 mask um, but it also has rgb lighting as all razor products do uh, which you can customize so it kind of looks like a little goth mask a little bit uh, when it's on because it's sort of smoked black but it also has a microphone and a speaker built into it so you can actually be heard more clearly through the mask because the mask isn't actually touching your mouth uh, and it's projecting the microphones pick up from the inside to the outside speaker. So it kind of reminds me of, and I imagine what a stormtrooper sounds like. <laughs> yeah. So I totally see gamers wearing this, uh, but normal people, I don't know. Well, I mean, the, the other interesting thing, at least with the prototype that they showed, is that uh, it also uh, has a case that you put it into to charge it, because there is some uh, battery power required for it, of course. Um, but when it's in the little charging box, it actually has a UV uh, light system that will uh, disinfect the mask as well. So I think it's cool. Um, are we going to get it before the pandemic is over? I don't know. And is it going to cost $500? I don't know. No pricing and no availability has been announced so far. This thing's going to be at least 200 US. And um, yeah, by the time this does hit the street, the I feel anyway, just based on everything that's happening, that uh, you know we're going to hopefully be starting to get out of the pandemic. Like, what kind of lifespan does this product have? Well, that's why I'm, I'm hopeful that maybe it's less expensive because, you know, uh, especially if it's going to be more of a niche thing that gamers would wear to the club when they can go to the club again. I don't know. Going to the club for 7-Eleven. Who knows? Well, you know what? Um, there might be, you know, I think we've seen even before the pandemic, uh, there's certain populations that always wore masks. You know, when we were over in China, for example, uh, this was way before the pandemic. There, that's just a lot of people wear masks. Yeah. So this, this might be something. You know, if you like this video or any of our videos, make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell notification icon as well so that you'll be notified of all our CES 2021 coverage.